Well hello there and welcome to another little video. Now this video is a bit different to the ones I've been making recently. As you can see, my face is not on the screen. Maybe for better, maybe for worse, who knows. Anyway, I want to talk about two things real quick. Firstly, university has started, so I'm not going to be making as many videos as I have been. But I still will be uploading when I can, so uh, I, I don't know when I'll be able to upload. But yeah, I will be uploading. St still. So if there's less videos, that's why. Secondly, TF2. That's that's what the main meat and potatoes of this video is about. So let's uh, let's jump into that. Yeah, it's about updates. Who would uh, who would have guessed that we had a TF2 video about updates? Um, this is a bit of speculation on my half, but I hope this video makes sense. Okay. So recently, there's been a bit of a, a hubbub surrounding TF2, especially on Twitter. And uh, that's what has inspired me to make this video. So is TF2 on the verge of a big update? Question mark. In early October, the TF team, if it even is a team and not just one person, dropped the annual Scream Fortress update. The Scream Fortress 2020, it's got some very nice cosmetics, it's got some cool maps. I'm a big fan. However, this update came with one extra little surprise. One, one treat, if you will they decided to update manpower. Now this is the game mode with power-ups and grappling guns if you're, if you're unaware. This was a very welcome yet unexpected addition to this year's Screen Fortress event. The manpower update was way more than the usual bug fixes and localization files that we usually get in Screen Fortress, along with all the new Halloween stuff of course. But this was a whole ass update for the game mode in calling update maps, gameplay and uh, uh, balance updates as well for the game. So yeah, for a game mode which has been largely forgotten since it's been added, this was a very welcome change and a nice surprise. Even for a few days after the initial Screen Fortress 2020 update, TF2 got small bug fixes and changes which fixed the maps and cosmetics making sure they were all working correctly. Now this is commonplace with any Screen Fortress. Usually they drop the update and then they do a few incremental updates to just fix the maps make sure everything's working a-okay. Now throughout 2020, the world has been gripped by the uh, shall not be named virus, which has taken over pretty much everything. Yeah, TFU's been getting a, quite a few little updates here and there. It's quite nice to see. Maybe uh, this virus's effect on the earth has uh, caused people to look back on old projects such as TF2. <laughs> um, however, these little updates have been mainly pushed in an attempt to cauterize the bot problem which was prolific quite a few months back and has uh, it's been cleaned up recently I think. Yeah in my experience they have been quite successful banishing these bots to this the shadow realm or the underworld. Um, US servers I've had more issues on than EU servers personally. I don't get put on US servers much but when I do uh, there, there are bots so who knows but the EU servers have been Pretty, pretty well cleaned out really although some obviously still managed to slip through the cracks but that's it all in all it's been a success uh, this source code leak wasn't as detrimental as we uh, anticipated tf2 has been widely cleaned of bots obviously some are still going to be there but most mostly they've, they've done well i think now the main fire or the main catalyst which relit the fire of uh, the tf2 community was left for dead 2 surprisingly basically Got a massive update earlier in the year, um, I think it's the end of September, so just before Scream Fortress. And uh, this was a largely community-based update. It was made by the Left 4 Dead community, and uh, it's, it's pretty fun. It brought an old survival map, and then turned that map into its own campaign with new animations, new zombie types, the CS source weapons, uh, they brought back unused dialogue, in, and improved PvP to just name a few, of, with a litany of bug fixes and exploits and all that. So yeah, it was a nice little uh, bit of polish on Left 4 Dead 2, which last got its update in 2012. So, it's been a hot minute. Now this was huge for the Left 4 Dead community, which I didn't really think existed, but it's apparently there and going strong, so that's me proven wrong. But this gave hope to a desperate TF2 community. And with Valve deciding to push a community update, this kind of brings a new light to other TF2 community projects, which since Invasion have gotten a bad rap, unfortunately, because there's so many good stuff out there. Mayan Frontline, Iron Gauntlet, to name a few. Obviously, there's been the newer ones, but those are the ones that stick out to me the most. Now, as we know, 
the TF2 community. We're, we're desperate for an update and this will unfortunately have the effect that whatever update does get released will be disappointing because we've set our expectations too high and that's just if you if you hype something up for so long you're going to be disappointed with it so yeah the update will it could be the most amazing update ever but we'll be disappointed because we've overhyped it for so long anyways with these small tf2 updates and then that major left for dead update it sent the tf2 community into a frenzy and then something else happened the tf2 twitter got cleaned up and they they got a header uh, they cleaned up their account, removing some likes of tweets that weren't really uh, the official, I guess. Yeah, they cleaned up their Twitter. And then Valve decided to retweet, or Valve decided to tweet out the Scream Fortress update, which was then retweeted by the TF Twitter. So them cleaning up their Twitter, it was like, oh shit, what are they going to do? Are they going to start using their, their Twitter more? Holy shit. Unfortunately, the Twitter has not been active since the update. So... The hope that the TF team will be communicating with the community, especially after the Crate Depression, that died out. Uh, they haven't used the account since the update, but hey, maybe they're just preparing to become more open with the community because I think the TF2 community really wants some communication right now. It's like an estranged father. I don't know where I'm going with that analogy. Anyway, yeah, Valve and the TF team, they're still quite guarded with what's going on behind closed doors. But there is a possibility that TF2 will receive a major update before I die. However, I could die any time, so maybe not. I could die the day before they plan to release an update, and then I'd be wrong. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, 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 we can hope. We can hope for a nice major TF2 update at some point in our lives. Mastercoms is working on TC2 or Team Coms 2, which is a big, bug-free version of TF2 based on the aforementioned source code leak. So maybe Valve will pick this up and implement it into the official TF2 game. Maybe, we, we could hope. I mean, TF2 does need some balance changes and some bug fixes. These ones haven't been fixed yet. And the, the Mastercoms is doing it for free, which is outstanding to be honest. Mastercoms has made some great progress with bug fixes. They've fixed so many bugs, it's insane. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. But what do you think? Do you think TF2 is on the verge of a big update? Personally, I don't think it is. However, I'm still holding out hope that it does get an update, obviously, but I don't think we'll see one before 2021. I think if there's going to be a major update, it'll be next year, personally. Now you can clip that and you can send it to me next year when we don't get an update. Sure, whatever. But what do you guys think? Do you think we're on the uh, the cusp of a major TF2 update, or do you think it's just going to be more of the same for however long? Because, I mean, Left 4 Dead got updated after years of not receiving an update. What was it, like, eight years? Yeah, since 2012. So, anything could happen, really. Valve never announced that their project is dead because they might want to do something with it afterwards. So, yeah, uh, we'll, just, we'll just be in the dark for however long it takes. But... Yeah, I've been over the giant tree. Like, subscribe, and hopefully we get an update soon. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah, that wristwatch costs a hundred grand.